Welcome to episode 33 of The Weekender. I'm Brandon Roberts along with my co-host Jesse Lucero. Good morning, guys. How are you doing today? Great. What a great week. Yeah. Exhausting week. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of action going on. We had the uh, brokers, mm -hmm. like a broker owner training. So we had brokers from around the country in for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yeah. Um, brokers from Florida, uh, California, That's really cool. Alaska. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, we had uh, Alex and Kay from mm -hmm. Daytona. Spencer was in town from Destin. Satama came in and spoke. Some spoke new faces. to the brokers. Yep. Yep. Um, Scott uh, from Fairbanks, Alaska, he's one of our newest franchisees. That's so, so cool. He'll be opening yep. that. That's way up there and very cold. You been there? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> I have to wait till it thaws out. So yeah. I think there's a two-day window when it's warm enough for me to go. Yeah. But, but no, I'm, I, will, I will go up there. It'll be interesting to see that. And he's mm -hmm. been a great agent broker up there for a long time and excited to see what he will build. Yeah, good guy. Um, and then we got the new ones, uh, John Cotner out in mm -hmm. uh, Tampa, Florida, they'll be opening too. And he's got a lot of energy and a lot of ideas too. Right. So we're ex really excited about the growth of Signature. Mm -hmm. And then, like I said, Satema was in town, um, spent half the day with the brokers, but he spent an uh, awesome sales meeting. So I'm in my office and we could hear the, the, the noise. The, the, the two claps? Yeah, what was going on? Oh, man, he talked about power influence. So you didn't attend it? No, oh, not that part. Oh, you were no, I, I heard it in, in your broker training. Oh, that one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, out there. He was talking about a lot of different things, but I'll, I'll share some of that Sounded stuff. Sounded pretty exciting. Yeah, the sales meeting was the power influence. Mm -hmm. Let's start there. That was good. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, all, it's about sales. And what I really liked is uh, there was some motivational stuff there, too, but he also brought, and that's one of the things I really love about Satema is, mm -hmm. is not only is he motivational, he also has all the knowledge of, of how to make you better in your business. Right. Uh, the tools and the, the systems and stuff like that. So... He talked about power influence, and uh, I just thought it was awesome. And one of the things he said was, uh, you will never outperform your self-image. Mm -hmm. You know, and so it's, it's, it's how you view yourself is, yeah. is kind of the cap that you right. put there. So. Well, one of the things that stood out for me at the gala was when he said, plan your decade. Yeah. That really stood out. Yeah. And, and when he was here uh, this Tuesday, that's all I kept thinking about, planning. Man, you know what? Setting up. You brought up something else. It's yeah. like, it's awesome. There's so much stuff going on. I almost forgot about the gala. Yeah. <laughs> it seems like it was so far yeah. ago, but it was just last Saturday. No, it was, it was good. good that was that. a great event, mm -hmm. too. Yeah, I had yeah. a lot of fun there. Um, I saw some of these, some of you guys really have some great dance moves. Um, yeah. Not, not me, again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I can't dance, but. Uh, yeah, I'll never outperform my own self there image on the dance floor. So, <laughs> to left feet. But no, that was great. Um, even though uh, you know we had a few blunders with the awards itself, mm -hmm. uh, I think it went off good and it was a lot of fun. Fun was had by all, and I don't think yep. anyone got in too much trouble, mm -hmm. good uh, time. which was good. So, um, but yeah, so that was fun. Uh, congratulations to all the award winners. Yeah, congrats uh, everybody. So Satima did speak there. He spoke at the sales meeting. We had we kind of were spoiled this week by having mm -hmm. him around. Yeah, so. always a good message. Yeah, I yeah. love him, and he's uh, really changed me in the way I think of things too. And uh, I got to spend some time Saturday just masterminding with him mm -hmm. and planning uh, a direction for Signature International, and and it was it was powerful. Um, he always has a tendency to ask you the questions that you don't ask yourself. Yeah, that you kind of hide from so. Um, but if you miss that sales meeting, it's a little bit longer, uh, but it, the message is awesome. It is up in the Agents of Signature under the Units tab. Mm -hmm. It will also be emailed through the newsletter. YouTube. And on YouTube. So yeah. Make sure you get that. Go back, rewatch it. Uh, there's lots of nuggets in there that you can pull out and utilize. So. Yeah, a lot of uh, clarity for a lot of some of our agents here. Right. Um, be yourself yourself be yourself and, and how to communicate yeah. and how to uh, lead people down the path to make the decisions that they need mm -hmm. to make. yeah but some people need that help and they need to and that's our job is agents. using the word imagine imagine to right. tell a story you know paint the to, picture yeah paint the picture Close so the next sale. week's sales meeting um if you don't have a crm you do now uh glvr or las vegas realtors is what it's changed to now provides you with a crm called prospect and they will be here uh, Tuesday to demonstrate that product. So if you don't have a CRM or you're curious about it, this would be a great meeting to be at so that you can get the information and, and start using mm -hmm. it. Yep. We all need a CRM to uh, uh, Well, that's, the, that's the value of your business, mm -hmm. you know, your CRM. If you're not organized with a CRM, your business has no value. 
you're right. Yeah. You're right. And the more people I talk to, the more I find that a lot of us are out there just um, living for new clients. Yeah, no, you we're, can't we're do we're that. We're prospecting all the time for that new client. Oh. Uh, and not taking care of our existing clients. In fact, it was interesting because Shelly Panzarella sent me a text this, this week and said, why do, most, why do people spend so much time and money on trying to find a new client mm-hmm. when they've got these existing past clients in their sphere of influence? Yeah. You know, and, I, and I pondered that and I thought about that for a while. And I, you know, my response was, I don't think a lot of people understand the value of a customer. Or a client, you know? So after working with, with several teams around the city, most of their business is 80% referral to what I saw. And that, and that should be your, yeah. your strive because as you build a business, you want that repeat mm-hmm. or that referral business, right? And it's yeah. not always easy when you first start out. Right. But I also thought more on that too, and I think a lot of it is that we don't always have a system to follow up with them or we don't have a database that mm-hmm. we put them in. So... If you, you're not putting them in one place and you don't know what you have, it's hard to market to them. Right. And so that's why I'm really excited about this CRM and really working with you guys uh, on getting better at taking care of your past clients. Because it, you do a great yeah. job during the <clears throat> sales process, mm-hmm. it's, but what do we do after the fact? So I, I've worked with, with teams that have no social media presence mm-hmm. yet they're in the top percentage of our, of our realtors in the city. And it has to do with the CRM because they're always following up. And, and there, if there's anything you do this year, whether if, if there's anything you do this year, it, it, do your CRM because that'll definitely take your business to the next level. And, and just like yourself, you, you purchase several businesses. And, and what is it that you purchase? It's, it's, it's the, the data. Yeah. yeah, it's the book of business. Mm-hmm. So and that's, yeah, and if you can market to that book, then that's where you're going to get. That's your value. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and besides that, these people already know, love, and mm-hmm. trust you because they've done business yeah. with you before. So. Exactly. Um, yeah, so if you don't have a CRM, you do now. Mm-hmm. There are a lot of other good ones out there as well. And I believe Simple List is working on getting um, the lead management side of the website to mm-hmm. sink into prospects. So that would be awesome too. Yeah. So if you're using that website, that your leads will dump in there as well. Mm-hmm. Question for you too. Um, so a lot of people run Facebook ads, right? You can run Facebook ads just to your sphere, can't you? Yeah, so you, you should. Could, you could take your list. So you can control a message that's going out to them. So mm-hmm. in the past, like when I was selling real estate way back in Salt Lake, I mailed something every 21 days to my client, right? And that was mm-hmm. before there was Facebook and all that right. kind of stuff uh, and all these other ways to communicate with them. And so we get lost now of just, I think, Either you're sending out postcards or you're not, or everything's through email, or everything's mm-hmm. just posting on social media. But you can control a message to where they go. Correct. Right? Right. And right. so... So there, there's two websites. Um, there's, there's one website absolutely works tremendously well. It's called your Facebook page. It's, it's yeah. in the back office. Uh, you can actually upload emails and phone numbers and create what's called an audience... Uh, And that could be the people that probably don't return their emails or messages or their phone calls when you reach out to them. Just another way to communicate. Right. So, uh, like, for example, we we have one of our agents here that has about 2,000 leads that have never done anything with him. So those are the type of lists that you want to be uploading to to retarget, to follow up. So that's that's your CRM. There's also another website. I'm not sure if you knew this. Uh, it's called Perfect Audience. Perfect Audience. I was looking at it last night. Uh, Perfect Audience does the what's called the follow me ads, which is the same thing Facebook does. Uh-huh. But you could put restrictions on how many times that ad will show up to that one, one person. person because I'm sure you've been targeted enough times to where you start getting annoyed at the company that's targeting you. You know what's funny? You keep seeing the same ad. Yeah, what, what's funny now, and I don't know how this happened. I mean, I know how it happened, but I'm not sure which ad I clicked on or whatever. But now I get um, on Facebook the ad that comes up the most is uh, blankets of dogs. Oh, yeah. Like the dog uh-huh. printed on the blanket. Yeah. And so I must have clicked on some ad or, or something to do with my dogs. Or your photos. And, it, and it's driving me nuts. They're all cute, but yeah. I, I can only have so many blankets. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But, uh, well, share some. <laughs> share some. <laughs> the uh, all my blankets are Dallas Cowboy blankets. Oh, um, I'd wear them. So one of the things that Satima talked about in the broker thing was rhythm. 
mm -hmm. marketing with rhythm. Right. It's a rhythm of messages that are going out. Mm -hmm. So when you have this, this uh, CRM put together, you can set up a rhythm of how you're going to communicate with them. So whether it's, and, and it shouldn't just be one avenue. Mm -hmm. So you should, like postcards, it can be emails, it can be uh, Facebook ads or different things like that Definitely. to get in front of them, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah. any other pointers on a rhythm? Uh, video. Video. But just, video. Just, just not talking about what you're doing throughout the day, but actually showing properties. You know, because at the end, the end result is people want to buy a house. They, they don't, they really don't want to see you eating pancakes so much or, or whatever it is that you do. They, they want to see the real you, but, but you should market more listings. Mix it, right? To don't, generate leads. Don't yeah. do just one, but, but don't, right. don't overload on, on right. personal stuff. But, but if you were to just do videos on listings, that'd be fine. But if you do all your videos on, on what you do throughout the day, that's going to hurt your brand. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Because you... You gotta show the product, right? You yeah. They gotta know you're busy, right? Mm -hmm. you, you have yep. business. That makes sense. Um, the other thing he talked about was uh, that if if he was starting out, like he he does a lot of click funnel and video. Mm -hmm. He's got all that produced. And he's got systems and funnels. And he says, but if he was starting out again, what he would be doing is he'd be going live on Facebook two to three times a week, mm -hmm. if not daily, um, so that you're getting a message out there. And the other thing he was is don't, he also said when you're doing video, don't overanalyze it and don't, uh, don't just shoot things and hang on to it. Mm -hmm. Shoot it and ship it. Shoot it and put it out. Mm -hmm. Because it's, it's moving and the Internet's moving and you just got to get that content out there. Well, good, good content out, yeah. stuff that people want good to content. consume, yeah. but overall. Well, get good value and, and your video does not have to be so pretty. It, right. it just has to be done. You know, something genuine, a, a quick Facebook uh, story or Instagram story will, will suffice, there, right? yeah. So, yeah. Good information. Good info, yeah. I'm looking forward to next week mm -hmm. So, um, at Signature. So, anything else to add? No. All right. No, that's it. Well, if we don't Thanks, see guys. you before Tuesday, we'll see you at the next sales meeting. Chris, what is the best thing about coming to Signature has been for you so far? Um, I think the people are fantastic. I, I don't know a place that I've been before where they were so welcoming. Head of the game, I should say. Not about the game, but ahead of the game on... Like Jesse's stuff. What's your favorite thing about Signature besides your broker? <laughs> just kidding. I love Signature because I feel like it's more like a family. If we all are just like so like love each other, genuinely love each other and care for each other. I said it when I when I first joined the uh, the brokerage that I kind of got the concept or the idea that the ownership uh, really cared about how agents' lives and employees' lives were. I mean, it's, it's so much of a family. I love that it, it doesn't feel like a real estate office. Absolutely loved being with Signature this year. It's uh, very helpful. Love the brokers. I love where the leadership is taking the organization, inspired by Brandon. You know, everyone that's part of the organization cares about more than production. They care about production, but they care about helping us in every aspect of our lives. The brokers are always available, very friendly. Oh, Bobby, where do we start? Because you're like one of our top famous agents that does all these amazing community videos. And I'm happy to be on the Sinker Granny team. It's great to be with Signature. So we have two of our agents here that are like the spirit of Signature ladies around here of everything they do and all the outreach things that they do and just being that face of Signature everywhere we go. Signature real estate radiates love. We radiate a family. We Enjoy it now. Okay, enjoy your night. Thank you. This is the ever famous Ellie Morris, <coughs> and he is really actually famous. They're famous. You are famous. What am I famous for? Well, like singing songs, oh. you know, things. I just got to know a lot of the agents, and it makes a lot. It's all about the people but in the office. They're, you know, without oh, them, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be the same. Great experience. The best part is the people. Okay. Just started in June, okay. and uh, San Francisco Bay Area girl. We're interviewing you. We're, it is, you got to walk the red carpet. You to, this is like Hollywood. Come on now. Yeah. Signature would have to be establishing my team. Um, there's lots to learn about a new company. So I was at an, an older a company for a lot of years, and so there's just a lot to learn. And uh, the people here are fantastic. That's amazing what hair and makeup artists can do. <laughs>
biggest takeaway being with Signature this last year? Uh, teamwork, camaraderie. I like the environment in the office. And I, I love everything. Just, just been a relief from the previous years from a different company. Um, I've worked with a few Signature agents and they've all been professional. And, uh, uh, the brokers, the people that work here, um, the collaboration with everyone and especially the broker support that we have here. Even deeper friendships and connections with the agents. This year was probably one of my biggest years as far as being in real estate, and it's all because of what I was able to experience with Signature. I love our Agents of Signature Facebook page and the community support. That is awesome. Walk across the red carpet here. This is like famous, right? You should. Oh, I know. We are. Um, I like the environment, you know, it's very friendly there, so... Awesome, well have a great night. Thank you. You bet. Well, this is so much that Signature offers that I'm so grateful for. Um, so much, so, so much support. The Jack, which is an obvious good take in yeah. no, I think Signature is putting out some of the highest quality agents in town yeah. right now because of our culture and the education we're trying to have, so awesome. that's, that's a really cool thing. That we're okay, doing. awesome. Thank you guys. Enjoy your night. I'll let you get a photo. I'll sneak on down here. Trying to hurry through the line here.